Hey guys, my name is Remo. I'm a local real estate agent. And what if I told you it's a horrible idea to sell a property? That's right, even me being in the business, I always think it's a horrible idea to sell real estate because real estate appreciates over time. Now there's an asterisk there. I, unless there's a few things that occur that in my personal opinion, I would sell property. So the first is if I'm reshifting my property from maybe a smaller property to a bigger property, so I'm trading up in a sense, or I'm actually downsizing, meaning maybe the place that I have, the home, the investment I have is, is too big and I wanna downsize a little bit, I would sell that property to buy obviously the new property, right? Another reason why I would consider selling is if I'm out of the area, I have a personal preference in investing locally where I could drive, right? And so if I'm relocated to a different state or a different area, and I'm not gonna be able to, to really you know service the property or have eyes on the property like I personally like, then maybe it doesn't make sense to uh, keep the property anymore. However, I would then obviously transfer it into uh, an area where I am gonna be. Now, if I um, maybe have a child, our, our daughter's young now, but when she goes off to college, right, rather than having her take on the debt, at one point, you know, it might make sense to sell the property to pay for all for her tuition, right? If I'm investing maybe into a business, right, I'm, I'm trading one asset for a, a business that will obviously become an asset or is an asset that, as it grows, um, and then what else? I would probably also invest in, in, in a cause, right? These would be reasons why I would consider selling. Now, reasons that I would never consider selling is, hey, I wanna buy a boat, right? I wanna buy an RV, jet skis, whatever it might be. Nothing against that, right? But what's important is you want your assets, uh, you, you want assets because they appreciate over time. If you take on liabilities like a, an RV and, and boat, and, and again, nothing wrong with them, I think it's how you get there in those is obviously gonna be a lot different. So again, if you're uh, planning on doing all those things, we'd love the opportunity to maybe have that conversation with you. Um, if you're planning on buying an RV, <laughs> again, don't use real estate. Uh, there's obviously different avenues that would allow you to maybe buy a rental and through the cash flow of that rental, uh, pay for the RV, right? And that's what many people do, right? Rather than, if I have $200,000, should I buy the RV or should I buy a property? And that property will generate some money. That money goes over time to pay off that RV and, on, and still have the appreciating asset working on my behalf. So again, if there's if this has uh, strung a, a chord with you at any point, we'd love the opportunity to maybe chat and uh, tell you uh, maybe different other strategies that we have. All the best and I'll see you soon. Bye.